Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video gaming in Linux. This time around I'm showcasing Hades, which was released the 17th of September 2020, after being in early access since December 2018. The game retails at £19.49. Supergiant games are normally known for porting their games to Linux, previous games being Pyre, Bastion and Transistor. But sadly this one is Windows only. But luckily for us, we have Steam Play Proton which we can use, and so far it seems that this game runs perfectly. It has a platinum rating on Proton Database, and I think that's completely justified. At the time of writing this, the game has 125,046 Steam user reviews. 98% of those reviews are positive. That is absolutely insane numbers, which currently puts it in the top 10 rated games on Steam, just overall. Taking it into consideration the amount of total reviews as well as its positive reviews. So onto the game, starting off with the art style. It seems to replicate previous Supergiant titles with its hand-drawn style, which makes each level you come across look amazingly vibrant. It's honestly just a lovely game to look at. Each level and every part of the UI just stands out so well thanks to the wonderful art style. They've also paired it with a fantastic soundtrack which helps make the game feel more intense in the battle phases as well as more emotional or moving in the slower phases of the game for example. Moving on to the actual gameplay, Hades seems to be a mixture of all the best aspects from all of Supergiant's previous titles, squidged into its own roguelike dungeon crawler based in a hellish Greek underworld. Along the way you'll bump into a plethora of Greek gods, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon to name a few. So if you're a fan of Greek mythology this game is definitely for you. As usual with roguelike games, after each run you get to level up certain aspects permanently to increase your chances of a better run going further, as well as collecting items that you might give to characters back at the house of Hades and improve your relations with them, opening further dialogues and even being given gifts back sometimes. There are also a bunch of weapons for you to unlock and try to see which kind of playstyle you prefer the most. Personally I prefer using a bow class, I've managed to progress the furthest with this class but that's probably because I can keep my distance away from the enemy. But again this is all personal choice and worth trying each weapon to find out what is best for you. Overall this game has everything, great visuals, a wonderful soundtrack, fighting that is easy to pick up but difficult to master and a brilliant storyline. All of that is perfectly blended together to bring Hades. Oh, and yes, you can pet the dog. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bring and subscribe for future on this content and peace the hell out. I'll see you in the next one.